Now, you know what? what? Just coming into this, you know I had this trouble like a year ago. I know. And it lasted for months and months and yes. months. And the no, did we do a segment on it then? No. No. Let me just I had to move house. Let me just explain for the viewers what David's trouble, one of David's troubles what? was, when he opened the cupboard in the pantry, moths what? flew out. And they wouldn't go away. No, that's right. And you don't know where they start or where they end. That's right. But you do know that you're going to end up with weevils if you've got moths. So how can you make your pantry a critter-free zone? Well, Suze Gray went to find out. As soon as I opened this pantry, this pantry moth caught my eye. A female pantry moth lays 400 eggs. So the biggest mistake we could do now is just throw out this container. Let me assure you, this whole pantry is contaminated now. Decluttering expert Anita Burgess is on a mission to rid Australian cupboards of the dreaded pantry moth. A pantry moth's lifespan is from about 30 to 300 days and this warmer weather pushes them along to hatch out of these little cocoons that they've made. What would you say is the biggest problem that you can see in here? That I have open containers and open zip locks. Things are not sealed properly, food is not protected, so pantry moths have a place to breed. So most people just think that pantry moths are brought in in rice or flour. They come in loose leaf tea, powdered stock, so we really need to get everything out and I'm going to show you exactly how to conquer this pantry of a pantry moth issue. Step one, get everything out of the pantry. And I mean everything. Step two, throw out all the food that has any sign of pantry moths. There is no way to salvage any of this. It has to go to the bin. And anything that's out of date. I have found a pepper that is best before 2015. I wonder how long pepper lasts because I don't think I've checked mine in quite a few years. The difference between something that's best before or expired, expired you need to throw out, it can actually hurt you. Something that's best before has lost that flavour and freshness but won't hurt you. Step three, check the unexpected places that pantry moths breed. This is the ideal place they hide. It's um, dark and warm at the back of that pantry, so we need to check that they're not breeding under here. And in spices, there's a couple of places. So you'll either see a web hanging from the top of the spice jar, or you open up the lid and you will see them breeding on the inside of the lid. Those ones look okay though. These ones look good and they are in date, so we can keep those. This is not in date. This is not in date. This is 2010. Step four, prep the pantry. Now that we've removed everything, we're gonna wash everything down with hot soapy water and we're going to use a peppermint oil on a Q-tip in the little shelf supports because they love hiding out in those dark places. Before you go putting everything back in, Anita says there are some simple things you can do to protect your food in the future. So you've pretty much decanted everything that was in the pantry. You don't think that's just too big a job for people to be worrying about? No, because you know what? If, if you invest the time properly and you buy the right products, you're going to save so much money in the long run because you'll be able to keep control of everything that's going on in there. Opt for an airtight container that uses silicon. Because silicon doesn't lose its integrity like other seals will. To avoid losing track of your herbs and spices. I've got an expander spice drawer organiser that's going to utilise all this space. And to make sure you can always see what cans and oils you have. Things really get lost behind here. I'm going to use a Made Smart three tier shelf so we can utilise the depth and the height. Now look at this, this pantry is completely organised, but not only that, it's ready for spring and a pantry moth won't even set foot in here now. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, let me tell well, you. Now I have to go home and clean out my pantry. Oh. The whole thing. Well, so you should. And for more tips, you have to organise your home to get rid of those disgusting little pantry moths. And to mise en place, docon, to tell you the website. Mm -hmm. is right there on your screen. Why would not you use it? You said pantry, didn't you?